everyone, I'm Eileen Hull and we are filming from the Paper Trail booth at CHA and I'm here to show you a really fun project that we're going to make using my clear snap lens and uh, Sizzix dies. So what we're going to use is this mini album die and it's a scoreboard die so that means you're going to use that with thick material like mat board and chip board, anything up to a sixteenth of an inch. So you'll also need a sheet of mat board. You'll need your extended cutting pads and a Sizzix Big Shot machine. So what you're going to do is make your Sizzix sandwich. You're going to lay one cutting pad on the bottom, your die, your material. You want to make sure you cover all areas of the die. Set that on top and then you take your other cutting pad, place that on top, and then you're going to run it through your Big Shot machine. What you're going to come out with is this. This is your book cover. Okay, I already started blending on here and I'll show you that in a minute. So now you basically have your book structure. Um, also one thing I want to point out, it's a, an adjustable binding. So you can either have a 1 and 1 eighth binding or you can have a 3 eighths binding depending on where you fold this over. So for today we're just going to do a small one because it's a you know quick project. So now we have our cover so the next thing we're going to do is the most fun thing, which is add color. And we're going to do that using our color box blends. They come in 16 colors. They're pigment inks, so they stay wet a little bit longer so you can get your color blended and, and kind of a lot of nice texture and dimension and shading. I like that they stay wet because sometimes you want it to move a little bit and it's easier to do that when you don't have to be like, ah, quick before it dries. So uh, the other thing is, this is um, heat set. If you, it's permanent if you heat set it. So if you want to iron it or throw it in the uh, dryer or use a heat gun, you can get your. So if you want to use it on fabric, you can do that and keep the color. Each blend contains ten times as much ink as a stamp pad. So this is a great value, and um, I just love them. Another thing that you can do with them, um, I made my own sprays out of them. What I did was I just took some of the ink out of the applicator, I added a little water, shook it up, and so I have my matching sprays for my inks. All right, I'm going to show you how these work. When you get one, you're going to have just a white sponge. In the middle, there's a little valve, and every time you press that uh, against the table, you're going to get a little dot of ink coming out. So what I do is I just press down, and you're going to see out comes the ink and then I just swirl it around to distribute the ink across the sponge. And then, so you can load it up. I like to keep it kind of light because you can always add color but you can't take it away. So unless you have baby wipes then you can't. <laughs> but um, so what we're going to do is just take our blends and I've selected a palette of colors that um, match uh, the papers that I'm using. So I pick these four colors and what I'm going to do is just take them and kind of swirl them around on my cover. And I did the front and back because I like to have color everywhere. Why not? So you can do it as dark as you want or as light as you want. And then you can build up layers. You can blend them together. I like to use yellow for a nice, uh, it kind of unites all the colors. It's light, but it, it kind of bleeds them all together. And then whenever you run out, you're just going to refresh your sponge, swirl it around, and bring it back on. You're going to get a nice uh, refreshed sponge. So we're going to do that over the whole cover, and then I did do it on the back too. So here it is uh, covered with all the blends. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pack of baby wipes and I'm going to use that to kind of soften the colors and blend them into each other. The other thing that you can use the blends for is you can use it for actual rubber stamping, <laughs> which is what most people want their ink to do. So I'm going to take my black and I'm going to take a rubber stamp and I like this one because it's big and it will cover the whole cover of my album and I'm just going to take that and apply my ink. Now if this was a huge, you know, I may use a stamp pad, but I like to keep these on my desk. I use them all the time. So when they get, you know, if you run out of ink, you just refresh, add more, and so then you're going to take your, your uh, stamp, you're going to lay this down on your flat surface, and you're going to press that down on to 
top of your um, surface that you've already made. Okay, so then you come out with this nice textured surface. You can add whatever you like, elements that you like to it. Now, you'll notice I have a ribbon here, and the way that we do that, we also use the blends. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take each uh, color that you use to make your background, you can custom make your ribbon. So you're gonna dot that on your surface, and you're just gonna blend them kind of all together. Just, you know, dot them like that, mix and match. And then you're going to take a little water spray and shoot that down. And then you take your ribbon. Now this is a um, seam binding, so it's nice and light. Um, and then you're going to dot your ribbon all through that wet colored uh, kind of mess. <laughs> and amazingly, you come out with a nice, beautiful ribbon. Now what I did here was, I crumpled it up, I just finished getting all my color on there, and if, say you get it and it's not the color that you like, just dot some more, add the color, and it, make it a little more vibrant, and you can just keep going until you're done. Um, I don't recommend doing more than three or four colors because it gets kind of muddy, but um, you can also always just take your blends and directly apply the ink to it that way. So what we did here was we let it, we, we smushed it all in a little ball and we uh, crumpled it up and then let it dry. You can let it dry naturally, you can take a heat gun and let it go like that. And um, then I just tied it around the book. So now we have a nice cute little book ready to go. So maybe I want to use it for a gift or maybe I want to remember my fun CHA experience and uh, working with the products that I love. So thanks for watching.